Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to Pluto Paint Fabrication. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about spraying uh, materials over bare steel. Now, uh, Ruby, my project car, my 67 GTO, uh, some parts are actually very close to being ready to be sprayed. So uh, I have some of them here, trunk lid, uh, glove box cover, e-pillar cover, stuff like that. So I, want to, I wanted to take some time to show, uh, tell you what I've learned. Now, I'm constantly learning in this business. Uh, products change constantly uh, from even just a few years ago. Things have changed a lot. Now, uh, in the old days, we used to spray etching primer on everything. You remember the old green stuff, the bright green stuff? Uh, it had chromates in it, and it protected uh, the bare steel very well, and it gave you a base to work from. Now, uh, a lot of those etching primers, in my opinion, aren't very good. All the chromates and the lead and everything has been pulled out of most of them, so uh, I just don't trust them anymore. I don't want to use an etching primer on Ruby, uh, and I, I wanted to start searching for something that I could apply directly over bare steel that would provide uh, the adhesion I want and the corrosion resist resistance I want. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, DTMs and epoxy coating. So let's, uh, let's jump in and take a look at what I picked for Ruby. Okay guys, what I have in front of me is what I'll be using on Ruby, my, G my GTO. And this is a uh, True Epoxy Primer Surfacer DTM. Now, I have a gallon of Primer Surfacer, a gallon of Reducer, and a quart of Hardener. Uh, and this is a high quality premium product, and it was, and I paid the price for it. A body shop price for what you see in front of you is about $600. That's pretty expensive. But uh, I have complete confidence in this. Now, I met with the paint rep, and we discussed a lot of different products, you know, and he, he was telling me, well, you could use this, you can use that. And, I'm, I'm, and I've been around long enough to know what questions to ask. So I'm peppering him with questions. And uh, we, had, we talked for probably 20, 30 minutes about, you know, what is the best product. And basically, he steered me to this. So what I do, I, I didn't just trust him. Now, he's an expert in the field. This is his job from this company, okay? So, uh, you know, I, I listened to what he had to tell me, then I followed up with my own research. And that is getting the product data sheets and reading through them carefully to look for clues to tell you, is this a good product for me or not? Now, this product, I have complete confidence in it, like I mentioned. So I know I, I can spray this on the bare steel of Ruby and not worry about it. Now you're thinking, Mark, $600 is a lot of money you know, to spray on here. Now this is high build and I can use this all the way up to the base coat, clear coat if I wanted to. So there's no problem there. I may use a urethane primer in between for filling and blocking out. I haven't decided yet. We're gonna see how this sands and how it fills and I'll decide that later. But the, the what goes on first is very important to me just like what goes on last, like the clear. Something in, in between may not be the best, but uh, what sticks to the bare steel and provides the ultimate uh, corrosion protection is important. What goes on the top, the clear, uh, how it sands, how it polished, how clear it is, how it protects against the elements, that's important to me as well. So uh, I can always sand the car down and reshoot it if I wanted to, but the last thing I want to do is have Ruby dipped again and go through all this again, right? So putting this on is probably one of the most important things I'll ever do on this car. So now let's talk about DTMs. It says DTM, this is a DTM. I bought a DTM to spray on the inside, but not all DTMs are created equal. Don't go by what your buddy tells you, what you see on YouTube, what the guy behind the counter tells you. Do your research, get the product data sheet, think about it, take some time. This is a very important decision. Now, I've got some product data sheets from some DTMs right here. Let me read one to you. And this is a really good one, don't get me wrong. But it says right here, for complete refinishing of larger bare metal areas, it is recommended to use an etch primer to ensure complete corrosion protection. Okay, what's that tell you? Well, it tells you that it will work but it doesn't provide the best corrosion protection. So uh, more than likely, it is susceptible to moisture creep, okay? And what'll happen is maybe on a seam or you get a chip or maybe somewhere underneath, uh, you know, moisture can get in and it may migrate through this, that other DTM a little bit. Now, it's not to say it will, not to say it's gonna fail, but it could, especially if you're in an environment where there's, they use road salts or it's just, you know, a harsh environment. 
you want to really step up your game and the, use the best product you can. Think about it. There, you see on YouTube uh, brand new cars. They're five, six years old. They're rusting out, you know, just because the environment they live in. Now, I don't think any of us are going to drive our cars. I'm certainly not going to drive Ruby in harsh environments, but I want to do the best I can to make sure she's well protected. So uh, I've got another product data sheet here from another DTM. And it says right here, an etch primer is not re required for small sand throughs or areas of bare metal that are five by five or smaller. So what's that tell you? It tells you that it'll stick to bare steel, no problem. The thing is, they don't want you using it for a, a full body spray, okay? They want you, like, let's say you knocked out a dent, you ground off all the, you know, paint and everything down to bare steel, hammered it out, got your body filler on there, now you've got some body filler, bare steel, and then paint, right? And so you can, you know, just paint over that, and that's no problem. That's, that's, it'll work just fine for that. But it's not recommended for, uh, you know, large bare steel areas. So, but they all say DTM on them. So you can't trust that. Uh, it, you'll see things out there that say 2K primer, you know, this and that. All that means is it needs two components to make it activate and harden, right, and catalyze. So, I mean, the clear I use, it's 2K. It takes a hardener, right, so it's two component. So you can't just trust, you know, what you see. If it says DTM, uh, okay, that's a starting point. Now you get your product data sheets and you start reading them, right? So if I read the product data sheet for this, and this happens to be Tech Prime uh, Plus Primer Surfacer, it's from Napa, Martin Sr., and it says right here, Tech Prime Plus Primer Surfacer provides excellent bare metal adhesion and corrosion protection without the need of an etch primer. Now, that tells me that this, this primer surfacer is designed to go over bare steel. There is no note on there. There's no nothing, you know, saying, hey, uh, if you're going to put it on too large a bare area, you need to etch it. Now, etching primers in the old days, I've used a lot of them. And uh, a lot of you guys have been around a while. You know, you remember the old uh, chromate ones, the kind of a green one? Well, uh, they pulled all the good stuff out of etch primers that I can tell. And the ones that are available to me, I simply don't trust them anymore. They're not what they used to be. Uh, you know, even uh, you know, the ones that would use a phosphoric acid in the mix, that's been removed now because the phosphoric acid would etch in a little bit, pull in that sealer, and seal it up tight. In my area, I can't even get that anymore. So uh, you know, the, the chromates are gone. The lead's gone. Lead's been gone for years and years. Uh, so I really don't trust the etch primers like uh, I used to. So now I'm turning to a true epoxy to, you know, spray over the bare steel for uh, Ruby here. And this car is important to me, just like your project car is important to you. And so, you know, a body shop, they don't really don't, you know, I mean, they're just looking to get it in, uh, get it repaired, get it back out to you. And they're not doing completes. These guys don't make any money doing a complete paint job. They make money on fenders, bumpers, stuff like that, little areas, blend it in spray it and get it out, right? So, but what you're working on is very important to you, just like Ruby's important to me. So you need to pick something that you can trust. And like I said, I have complete confidence in this product. I think it's gonna work fantastic. Um, and, and really, I just wanted to help educate you guys what I've learned. Uh, and uh, like I said, it changes constantly. So you gotta stay on your game, get the product data sheet, whether you have to go online or ask for it at the store, read through before you make your decision. And that way you can move forward with confidence knowing that you made the right decision and you're not relying on you know, what your neighbor said or some other guy like me on YouTube. Figure it out for yourself. Thanks for joining me here at Foothill Paint and Fabrication. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Mash that bell and drop me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you on the next one.